Welcome back to the programme. Great to have your company. Uh, 5.36 is the time. And the subject, mortgages. Britain's largest building society has made some mortgages more expensive as the Bank of England's interest rates now expected to rise higher than previously thought. Nationwide has said interest rates on new fixed rate mortgages will rise 0.45 percentage points. And this follows moves by lenders like Halifax, Santander and Atom Bank who also up their rates by up to 0.2% percentage points this week. Joining me to discuss it is Sally Mitchell, Mortgage Advisor at The Mortgage Mum. Hi Sally, thanks so much for joining us. Good to have you on board Sally. So so this is obviously very worrying for some people in a particular uh, mortgage situation right now. Yeah, it just seems to keep coming doesn't mm, it? Yes, it does. It's. I was out last night at an awards do, an industry um, do, and I thought Friday Brilliant, nice quiet day, finish everything off, and then this has sort of hit the fan. Um, it's incredible. And it's not just the big lenders who are upping their rates as a result of the inflation figure that was released. Um, my inbox is groaning with lenders saying that they're basically retiring from the market for the next few days whilst they reprice and relaunch all their products. And you can bet your bottom dollar that mm -hmm. those products, when they're relaunched, will be at a higher rate. Right. And so that bodes really very badly for anyone on the verge of taking out a new mortgage or anybody whose mortgage for their fixed yeah. rate has run out. So yeah. what, what's it looking like in terms of, you know, price hikes? How, how much more are you having to pay for a sort of average type mortgage than you would have done before? Well, there's a little hack that I, I like to use because it's, you know, figures are confusing. They're confusing for mortgage brokers. <laughs> They're going to be doubly confusing for um, you know, your clients. Yes. Um, so for every percentage point increase on a £100,000 mortgage, you can look at paying another £50 per month. Right. OK. Right. So if we go up by two percentage points, which we have recently, and you have a £200,000 mortgage, to remortgage that product or that that loan, you are going to be looking at paying at least two hundred pounds a month more. Obviously, if you have four hundred thousand pounds on a mortgage, which a lot of people do, it's four hundred pounds. Mm. So it's a lot. It's a lot to find. And we've, yes. as we've heard today and in the last few days, you know, inflation it is coming down, but food isn't. No, that's the sticky wicket that seems to be stopping us getting to to our our target. So um, have, have you started to hear from people who are saying we can't pay or are you starting to hear from people who are saying we're worried that at some point we won't be able to pay? Yeah, it's the worry. Um, it's the fear of the unknown as well because you know, it's a movable feast. It keeps changing. Only a month or so ago, we were seeing fixed rates coming down, um, which was fantastic news mm. after all the you know, uncertainty and insecurity. And then swaps started to rise um, again and rates started creeping up. And now this is like a double whammy. Um, and as you say, you know, some of those rates are going up by half a percent. It's it's an awful lot. And if you're not in the situation where you can actually you know, secure a rate now before goodness knows what's going to happen, it'll probably get worse mm. or it gets better. You, know, you really are stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I and I've I feel for the people. I so really do I. So do I. How does this all fit in with the conversation you and I had not very long ago at all, maybe three weeks ago, maybe four, it wasn't long, um, mm. about the 100% mortgages now available? Because they don't. those two stories, one mortgage is going up, um, you know, frighteningly high for people and certainly very worryingly high with 100% with, with mortgages. They, 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 those stories don't seem to sit comfortably hand in hand, do they really? No, and they are two slightly different things. I mean, the 100% mortgage um, product that was launched was actually, I think, 5.49%. So it was still quite a, a high rate, higher than we'll see um, a lot of the lenders coming back onto the market at. Um, and that builds into that rate, you know, the risk of basically lending 100% of, of the property price to yes. um, a, a borrower. And that was really to encourage and to help first-time buyers who find it so difficult to save whilst they're spending money on rent you know, to get onto the ladder. I think it's a really, still a really, really good option um, for a lot of people. But 
it has to sit side by side with the market and the influence that has on, on rates for the vast majority of mortgage holders. Is there anything you can say to the people who are starting to get nervous and anxious about this? I mean, apart from don't worry, and you can't really say that because you can't predict the future. Is there anything you can um, advise them or anything you can do or say? Or is this just one of those, um, you somehow got to tough it out and wait stories, which 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 is going to be possible for some and not necessarily for others? Yeah, there is an element of that. I mean, if only I had a crystal ball, it would be amazing. Mm. First, of, first and foremost, get a broker on your side, get some good advice, get somebody who knows the market, who has access to you know all the lenders, who can actually tell you what's happening in real time and, and get all your ducks in a row, get everything planned, get as mortgage ready as you possibly can. And again, your broker will tell you what that entails. Mm -hmm. um, but you can, you know, most lenders will let you secure another product six months before your current fixed rate comes to an end. So if you're thinking, crikey, if this goes any higher, if these get any you know, bigger, these rates, then I'm going to be in trouble. I, I don't like the, the look of the, the landscape. Yes. Then try and secure a product now, knowing, and this is what a broker will tell you, that if things change, if things improve between now and when your rate ends, you can ditch that rate and then secure a new one at a lower rate. Yes. And not, not everybody knows that. It's not it's not set in stone until it actually transfers over. So, and with some clients, you know, I've done two or three different rate switches in that period of six months between being able to move and actually coming to the end of the of the product. What would, so that's worth knowing. What would be your overview of the property market now? Would you say that it is volatile, unpredictable? You know, people are reluctant to sell, people are scared to buy, and all things in a sort of stasis. And you know, this is this is not a yeah. good a good situation. Or would you say that surprisingly, it's it's more stable than you would have thought? What's your perception of it right yeah. now? Exactly that. It it is um, fundamentally stable. It's you know, it's a good market. It just has fluctuations, like like everything, and there will be times when it's more prudent to, you know, perhaps pull your horns in and, and not um, go for the, the big upgrade in your property because it's going to cost you more. Mm. Obviously, there are times when, you know, that's not possible. You have to move for family or business or work. Yeah. And I think it, you know, you've just, you've got to do what's right for you. I see a lot of people moving. Weirdly, in the last month, we mm. have had more purchases coming through and that was certainly something that was that was reducing in the market you know people were not moving they were too scared they didn't want to, to mm. move and now they're sort of saying would well, you know what how much worse can it get as long as I can yeah. afford it well yeah exactly how much worse can yeah. it get as long as I can afford it I'm I'm going to go because what we've got to remember when you look at a mortgage quite often it's 25 years so that's a very long time to to manage a debt. And like anything, there's going to be times in those 25 years where you're paying more for the privilege. And there's going to be times that we've just come through where you pay less. I always say it's like um, my trips to, let's say, Spain. If I go outside of school holidays and when the weather isn't quite so scorching, um, I pay a very low uh, plane fare. Mm -hmm. If I go... I choose to go perhaps when um, it's school holidays and it's the summer, I'm going to pay a lot. But if I look at it over the average of my year trips to Spain, it averages out. Yeah. So the key, it all comes to that down to affordability. You've got to make sure that you can afford the payments as they are now and if they're stressed and they go up higher. It's not pleasant to pay more. But as long as you can afford it, it's just, I think, something we, we have to accept. It's part and parcel of having a, a mortgage on a home. Thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you on, even if what you're saying is really rather unnerving. We appreciate it. Thank you. That's uh, Sally Mitchell, the mortgage, mortgage advisor at The Mortgage Mum. Coming up after this.